Good evening. I'm Ben Quinn, Jr., President of American Engineers. It's my pleasure to kick off the welcome reception for this year's KBT Annual Conference. Like many clients and AE firms in our industry, I've had to learn to adapt to new ways of growing and conducting business in the midst of a pandemic. This virtual conference is an outstanding example of how we can continue to advance the important work KBT does in educating and advocating for all modes of transportation in Kentucky while providing a safe environment for ourselves and all attendees. A big thanks to Jennifer, Melissa, and Grant for the work you and your teams did to make this event a success. I'd also like to thank Mr. Samuels and his Maker's Mark team for their participation in the welcome reception. It's been a pleasure to serve as your engineer for the last decade. AEI has been an active participant in KBT initiatives since our inception in 1983. Like my father, Ben Quinn Sr. before me, AEI shares KBT's passion for all forms of transportation into, from, and through our Commonwealth. There truly is no better collective group than the members of KBT who recognize the value the investments made in transportation infrastructure in our Commonwealth. AEI's essential professionals and technical staff are proud to do our part to support Kentucky's multimodal interconnected transportation network. We are actively involved with the Kentucky Aviation Association and currently serve as the engineer of record for eight Kentucky airports and are teamed on two other general aviation facilities. We are currently assisting the Owensboro River Port on one of Kentucky's first build grants, which when completed greatly enhances the multimodal transportation system for the River Port Authority via the much improved Kentucky 331 Major Widening Project, a $14.4 million endeavor. Our projects allow us to routinely collaborate with rail industry, including CSX, RJ Corman, and the PL at various quarries as well. Quarries play a critical role in transportation in our relationship with Kentucky quarry owners including Lighters, Nugent, Scotties, Harrod, and Hayden, as well as national quarry operators like the Rogers Group, Vulcan Materials, and Carmoose, help provide the stone and sand for use in concrete, asphalt, clean air transmission, and polishing of stainless steel. We assisted in improving, rehabilitating, repairing, and replacing critical structures across the Commonwealth through the Bridging Kentucky program, and in so doing, improved safety, access, and mobility for Kentuckians. We've also been fortunate to have a successful 38-year career improving state and local roads, including most recently the I-265, I-64, and I-71 iMove Kentucky Design Build Project in Jefferson and Oldham counties as lead designer for the Hall Contracting of Kentucky design build team. A critical component to our firm's success is a culture we have developed through the years to seek and develop friends over clients, relationships over acquaintances, and continued value over periodic services. The 90-second corporate video that follows reiterates that and sets the stage for Kenny Ott, AEI's Structural Engineering Director and our Lead Makers Mark Project Manager on several of our projects. Kenny will share his insights on the AEI Makers Mark relationship that has resulted in 31 projects since 2010, covering a broad spectrum of transportation infrastructure needs at Makers Facility. Everything in the world around us originated with a design. From the schools that educate our children to the roads and bridges we drive upon, our very existence is dependent on the vision of engineers across America. Meet AEI, a respected and proven engineering firm dedicated to designing infrastructure in the southeastern and midwestern United States. AEI is self-sufficient, but we believe in the power of teamwork. We have a history of collaborating with partners that share our commitment to delivering successful projects. Our company culture is to seek and develop friends over clients, relationships over acquaintances, and continued value over periodic services. AEI was founded in 1983 but our story has just begun. 
We believe in progress and growth. Whether you're looking for first-class engineering, a strategic partner on a project, or a meaningful career, we hope you'll join us. We are committed to designing a better world for all of us. American Engineers, designing your future. Good evening. I'm Kenny Ott, Structural Lead and Project Manager for many of AEI's projects with Maker's Mark over the last decade. Aside from enjoying Maker's Mark products most of my adult life, my professional involvement with the Samuels family and Maker's Mark Distillery began in 2010. With a distillery located in rural Loretto, Kentucky, transportation infrastructure improvements were paramount to makers effectively distributing their product internationally. The narrow Burke Springs Road and dilapidated one-lane bridge was the main access for large semis, employees, and visitors. Because of our prior success achieving a safe route at their nearby parent company, which included a new bridge, AEI was asked to study replacing this narrow and dilapidated bridge on Burke's Springs Road. This grew into a study to widen Burke's Springs Road, as well as new road alignments from Highway 52 into the Maker's main plant. AEI provided final roadway and bridge plans, as well as construction oversight of Bill Samuels Jr. Road, the new access road that opened to the public in 2013. This project improved safety by separating visitor traffic from employee and other plant traffic. Coordination between makers, Marion County, local and state officials, and the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet, all participants in Kentuckians for better transportation was critical to project success. My passion and background for structures has helped Makers Mark improve and expand many of their facilities through these past years. Our designs were integral to improvements for the steel house, fermenter room, bottling warehouse, wastewater treatment plant, maintenance building, the famous Star Hill restaurant and the precast concrete design for the iconic wax symbol structure in the restaurant's courtyard, as well as the temporary foundations for the Chihuly sculptures when they were on display at the distillery. It was also a real joy to work with Maker's Mark on the design of the unique Maker's 46 limestone cellar. We used the natural limestone as the rear cellar wall to support bridge box beams and the heavy concrete roof. This allowed placement of two feet of soil so that small trees and other plants could thrive on the roof. This new limestone cellar achieved lead gold status with a green roof that provides a consistently cool environment for production of Makers 46 year-round. Projects at the distillery have also allowed us to showcase technology tools we use every day to make projects more efficient and cost-effective. AEI used 3D scanning to develop precise plans of the existing fermenter room so steel framing could be shop fabricated with the assurance that it would fit like a glove around the non-round, unevenly spaced, 12-foot diameter fermenting tanks. This allowed us to complete the project on a fast-track schedule during a two-week shutdown. Drone flights aid in planning for future upgrades and expansions. We have also used electrical resistivity to support dam seepage studies. As engineers, we're accustomed to working on projects that run the gamut from routine to challenging. 
What I really enjoy about working on projects with Maker's Mark is they're often unique and have a high cool factor. We look forward to working with Maker's Mark on future unique and cool projects like the Limestone Cellar. Maker's Mark has been an important part of my professional career and I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to share a cocktail with my friend and client, Rob Samuels.